First Warn 5 Weather with Matt Holliner. 643 this morning and that slow moving cold front is still working through the northern plains brought severe weather uh, to parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin today. Uh, the severe weather threat still there today, not as high. Uh, that frontal system not making it into the state of Texas, but there's a general area of low pressure, kind of a broad area of pressure that's producing shower activity in the northern part of the state. And look at the Gulf. There's a little more activity there today than there was yesterday. And that is a sign that the sea breeze is going to be a little bit more active today. Now at 9 a.m., I'm still not worried about any rain, just partly cloudy skies. But starting around lunchtime, right around noon, yeah, there go your pop up shower storms starting in the lower valley. So earlier in the day, uh, the chance of rain is uh, going to be mainly limited to the lower valley. But as we get later in the day, the chance of rain goes up in the upper valley and will drop in the lower valley because that's how the sea breeze works. It will push everything off to the west. There's even a chance of rain in Star County today. Uh, you have the smallest chance of rain, but the chance is there for even a stray shower making it there because the sea breeze is going to be stronger than it has been the last couple of days. Partly to mostly cloudy skies. Yeah, still a little bit of activity at four. By the time we get to eight o'clock, though, knows it's back to mostly sunny skies as the shower threat will be over and we're going to be dry during the evening overnight hours even into tomorrow morning. I think we'll start out with partly cloudy skies 10 a.m. And once again, I know I'm going to say it again. You're probably getting tired of me saying it. Yes, a small chance of rain tomorrow, but smaller than today. I don't think there's going to be as many showers and storms popping up and really it's going to be tough to even see them get into Hidalgo County tomorrow. I think Star County will stay dry for Saturday. Uh, overall, about a 10% chance of catching a shower or storm tomorrow. Notice the sea breeze will start later. It's going to end earlier and I don't think we'll have a period of mostly cloudy skies tomorrow unless you're right under one of those showers. I think it's just going to be partly cloudy throughout the day. If you're wondering about Sunday, I do think Sunday finally we can say it's going to be completely dry. The sea breeze will try and set up and that'll keep partly cloudy skies around, but it won't be strong enough to generate any showers or storms. And it looks like we're probably going to be staying dry for quite some time as high pressure strengthens and our temperatures climb. Heads up, I think today, even though it's not going to be a cool day, is going to be our coolest day for at least the next week, potentially beyond. 95 is going to be our high. That's going to feel more like 101 with the humidity. About a 20% chance of catching a shower or storm, but most of the day just partly to mostly cloudy skies, but a typical breeze for this time of year, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Focusing on the coast, winds always a little bit higher out there, about 15 to 20 miles per hour. That's still typical for this time of year. Moderate chop in the bay, so boating conditions today looking good. We're experiencing our high tide right now, and then we'll have a low tide this evening. The rip current risk still low, so swimming conditions are looking good today. The high temperature of South Padre is going to be around 90 degrees. Tonight, we're looking at lows around 76, mostly clear for the evening hours. Skies will become partly cloudy late. Uh, we have one more chance of rain on Saturday. I think we're dry on Sunday. Notice how our temperatures start to climb, but 97 isn't too bad compared to what's coming as we get into the middle part of next week. Notice mostly sunny skies, not even partly cloudy. The breeze goes away and our temperatures get all the way up to 100 on Thursday.